With a full front PPF paint protection package to this Type S, we're going to attack another area that is susceptible to damage. The B and C pillars are quite a bit softer than the rest of the finishes on this automobile. When it comes to prep, you can do it many ways depending on what condition they are in. We will use a panel prep to remove any old waxes or sealants followed up with a light clay uh, or clay mitt or clay block and that will remove any bonded contaminants so they don't push up against the film and push the film away from the surface. Also if the customer wishes and it is in the budget you can also correct. You can correct these. I have many videos showing how to correct the soft black piano finish B and C pillars. The next thing we do is spray the area with the slip solution. This is a mixture of uh, Johnson & Johnson's baby shampoo. You can also use some uh, liquid detergents for dishes as well, but Johnson & Johnson works best for us. And that will act as a solution we can use to adjust the film so it will not leave it tack and it floats so we can move it around and perfectly align it. And then we'll pull it back up again after holding it in place and use our tack solution, which washes away the slip solution and lets the adhesive make contact with the surface and then we squeegee out all the moisture from there. The next thing we'll do is take either just plain water or the tack solution and flush out the edges and make sure the edges are making contact with the surface. Simply overlap every stroke with the squeegee so you do not leave any moisture or air behind. Moisture bubbles, air bubbles. If they're small enough, sometimes you can let them go and they will uh, work their way through the film as the film is permeable. But for the most part, you don't want to leave anything behind. No dirt specks, no hairs, no fibers, no bubbles of any kind. That will leave uh, the shampoo residue and some moisture to clean up in and around the surrounding areas. Let the areas cure or dry. We like to let it sit overnight in a controlled environment. If it turns out to be a high stress area for the film, we'll bake the edges with a heat gun. Repeat this process all the way around for whatever pillars you need to protect. You can do it one of two ways. You could do a bulk install. You could pull material off of the roll and hand cut it. And that, that has to be done sometimes where there's no patterns available. Here we have a pattern available on core and we just blow up the pattern slightly so it wraps around the edges and we have a nice clean install. All edges of the pillars are surrounded by seals or grommets and the film can be tucked in there to make it look seamless. And this is the result. The absolute best way to protect these vulnerable areas, guys. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. Brian from Apex Detail, catch you in the next video.